weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light call unto me and I will answer you and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you therefore I tell you whatever you ask for in prayer believe that you have received it and it will be yours in the same way the Spirit help us in our weaknesses we do not know what we ought to pray for but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you, great and mighty things which thou knowest not but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you therefore I tell you whatever you ask for in prayer believe that you have received it and it will be yours in the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you, Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. In the same way, the Spirit help us in our weaknesses. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us 
through wordless groans and whatever you ask in my name that i will do that the father may be glorified in the son if you ask anything in my name i will do it if you love me keep my commandments come to me all who labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn from me for i am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light call unto me and i will answer you and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not but seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you therefore i tell you whatever you ask for in prayer believe that you have received it and it will be yours in the same way the spirit help us in our weaknesses we do not know what we ought to pray for but the spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans and whatever you ask in my name that i will do that the father may be glorified in the son if you ask anything in my name i will do it if you love me keep my commandments come to me all who labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn from me for i am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light call unto me and i will answer you and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not but seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you therefore i tell you whatever you ask for in prayer believe that you have received it and it will be yours in the same way the spirit help us in our weaknesses we do not know what we ought to pray for but the spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans and whatever you ask in my name that i will do that the father may be glorified in the son if you ask anything in my name i will do it if you love me keep my commandments come to me all who labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn from me for i am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light call unto me and i will answer you and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not but seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you therefore i tell you whatever you ask for in prayer believe that you have received it and it will be yours in the same way the spirit help us in our weaknesses we do not know what we ought to pray for but the spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans and whatever you ask in my name that i will do 
and that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Let us pray. Our great and loving Father, the source of strength and power, the source of wisdom and understanding, God who is mighty, sovereign Lord, the creator of the heavens and the earth. In the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, I come to you, O God, our Father, thanking you for your goodness and for your faithfulness, thanking you for my family, friends, brethren, loved ones, and relatives, thanking you because you are our God who always there. When we need you the most and you are blessing us with all the spiritual and heavenly blessings. Thank you for this day, another day to experience your goodness and your faithfulness. Thank you for answering our prayers for the good night rest for renewing our strength. Thank you for preserving our lives and for healing those who are sick. Thank you for strengthening strengthening those who are weak. Lord, today we will trust you Put our hope and confidence in you. You have been our helper, and I will trust you. We will trust you, Lord, that your help will always be available. I thank you, Lord, for this day that we can trust you. I am entrusting everyone who is listening right now at dadaan mag ng reaction and those who will be staying praying with us praying for us I trust the Lord that they will feel your presence right, right now and that your love grace and mercy will continue to manifest in their lives Thank you for this morning, O oh God. I can pray and entrust into your cares everyone who is part of this ministry. And the Anjo and Hekinan Church. Everyone, every family with their children. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare blessings upon blessings for them. For those who are not feeling well, Heal them, O Lord. For those who are weak, give them the strength. And for those who are preparing for work today, empower them with wisdom and understanding. Preserve their lives. Make them conscious of your presence. And some of them, O Lord, are coming home from work. I pray for your renewing strength as they will take rest today. 
make them a blessing at home and even in the community, even in their workplaces. All of us here, Lord, with your people, the missionaries here in Japan, with their families, as they are working, make them a blessing, and through their lives, many will come to repentance and come to the saving knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am praying for my loved ones, friends, and relatives, John sa Pilipinas, that they also put their hope and trust in you, serve you, live according to your will, and also our relatives and loved ones abroad, wherever they are. I am praying for their welfare, declaring continuous good health and strength for those who are struggling physically, emotionally and spiritually, praying that they will look up to you for the source of strength and power. Thank you, Lord, for I can pray for your Holy Spirit will continue to empower us, work in us, and through us. Thanking you, Lord, because in the name of Jesus Christ, there is power. No enemies, even spiritual forces can go against us. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Lord, I rebuke any evil spirit that are trying to destroy our hearts and minds, our body, our spiritual lives, our community, our churches. In the name of Jesus Christ, have mercy on those people who are easily get entangled with the works of our enemies. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that you will free them, O Lord, from any evil influence in their lives. And that, O God, He will teach them I will trust you, Lord, that in your time they will come to their senses and that they will look up to you and that they will continue to deny themselves and trust and follow Jesus alone and his will in the name of Jesus Christ. God, this morning, another day to rejoice. Thank you for giving us this new day. And this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Be glorified and magnified, O Lord, as we continue to trust you, continue to pray and entrust our concerns, even our brethren who are connected today. With their concerns, praises, and adoration, I pray that they will continue to feel your love, presence, and the joy in our, their hearts will continue to ring, ring a melody, songs of praises. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Continue to make us and help us worthy to come into your throne of grace and mercy. We come through your Son, Jesus Christ. And this I pray, O God, with praises and thanksgiving in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Come to me. 
all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours in the same way the spirit help us in our weaknesses we do not know what we ought to pray for but the spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans good morning good morning good morning mayong buntag Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Welcome once again. Welcome and welcome kayong lahat mga partners. And I thank God for your lives. Thank God for the partnership na meron tayo dito sa programa Morning Prayer and Praise. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Today is Tuesday. April 9 na tayo mga partners. Good morning. April 9, 2024. Another day to experience the goodness and faithfulness of God. Maraming maraming salamat mga partners na dyan kayo. We thank God for this new day. And I continue to praise and thank God for recovering. No? Nag-recover na tayo sa ating bosses. Thank you mga partners for praying for us and uh, konti na lang konti na lang yung disturbances discomfort sa ating uh, lalamunan we give glory uh, to our God for his good and his love endures forever Once again mga partners, maraming salamat and welcome, welcome sa inyong tanan. Ayan mga partners, we have uh, morning greetings na at mga praises dyan sa comment section. Maraming salamat muna sa nagsashare sa ating programa. Hindi lam, uh, minsan hindi lumalabas yung pangalan nyo na, that you are sharing but I know that you are there. Thank you for sharing this Uh, program Well mga partners Ito yung mga morning greetings natin At sana nandyan pa sila nakikinig Good morning Pastor Ging Ayan, good morning din sa iyo Agnes, bakabak Pinsan ko to uh, Siguro na sa abroad pa to Or sa Pilipinas Agnes, God bless you And hopefully And praying everything is doing well Sa inyo dyan And also, a blessed morning, Pastor Gilbert and family. Ito galing kay Ate Celia Pareñas. Ate, good morning. Rejoicing with you and your family. And also, our kapatiran, our brethren, the choir. My choir director na sila sa Tugbungan Alliance Church. Ate Celia, regards kanila Ali. Thank you for joining with us today. God bless you. And also, Sister Sarah Rebecca, good morning, good morning din sa iyo. God bless you. Thank you for praying with us and uh, for praying for us. God bless you as you prepare yourselves for, for work and uh, ministry. Mga partners, minsan hindi pa talaga uh, totally yung nawawala wala pa rin yung bosses natin uh, dahil may konting disturbances pa or discomfort sa ating lalamunan. Anyway, ipagpatuloy natin ito. Amen. 
mga partners, uh, kung nanonotice niyo kung mawawala man ako for a few seconds, uh, I am just clearing my throat, no? Nag, uh, inom ng tubig so that derecho derecho na tayo. Well, mga partners, once again, maraming maraming salamat. Nandiyan kayo. And ito si Ate Eliza Espinosa. Magandang umaga sa iyo, Ate. Good morning. God bless you at regards dyan sa inyong lahat. Ito yung greetings coming from Sister Eliza. A blessed morning, Pastor, family, and prayer partners. God is good all the time and He is always worthy to be praised. Amen and amen. Thanking God with you. Uh, rejoicing with you, Sister Liza. Maraming salamat. Ito mga partners, pag-pray na natin itong prayer request ni Sister Liza Espinosa. Ito mga partners, asking for prayer. Pastor and prayer partners for one of our Bible study contacts named Lorena. Yeah, she is experiencing high or palpitation yesterday. I hope and pray she will be okay now. Also, please pray for me and my family for continued good health and complete healing for all our illness. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for the life of Sister Eliza. And thank you for her family. I'm praying and declaring continuous good health para sa bawat isa sa kanila. More of spiritual and heavenly blessings maranasan nila from day to day and that they will be kept from any illnesses, O God. And if discomfort sa kanilang mga katawan, I declare healing para sa kanila. Lord, also entrusting into your cares ito si Sister uh, Lorena, one of the Bible study contacts dyan sa kanilang Bahay sa Bible study. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, praying that and hoping that she is okay now. Uh, she experienced uh, high blood pressure and I pray, O oh God, that give her the wisdom uh, to manage her body and to have a proper medication that she will continue to experience your healing. Thank you, Lord, for I can entrust this concern into your cares. In Jesus' name, Amen. Maraming salamat mga partners for praying with us and for us. Ayan. My praises tayo coming from Sister Arl Hardison. Praise the Lord for this day and for the good health and for renewing our strength amen a blessed morning pastor and family and to all prayer partners i am thanking god with you sister arl hardison god bless you at regards jan sa inyong lahat maraming salamat nakajoin kayo and you are here praying with us and for us Good morning at magandang umaga John kay Pastora Henny. Ayan, si Pastora Henny most Montes Claro. Mayo munta pa Sir Gilbert and family and all prayer partners here. Ayan. Blessed be the name of the Lord who is worthy of all our adoration and praises. Amen. Thankful to God always. He answered our prayers. Thus NCEMR Regional Forum last April 3 and 5 at Mount Moriah Camp Malay Balay City Bukidnon was very successful God's unusual favor was our portion Hallelujah Thank you prayer partners for praying for us always God's abundant blessings in all aspects be your portion today and always in the name of Jesus Christ Amen and Amen. Ayan, thank you very much, Pastora Henny Montes Claro. And God answered our prayer. To God be the glory. Musta regards John sa inyong lahat. Sana nagkarigain na kayo ng strength, no? Kasi medyo strenuous yung activity ninyo. And uh, as a district uh, personnel, no? Medyo 
mabigat iyong ministry. But thank God, nandyan kayo with full, ano na, full swing again with the strength that comes from the Lord. God bless you at maraming salamat. Regards dyan kay DMS Larry. Ayan mga partners, God bless you. Ito, may I give a speech. Uh, ito si Pastor Raheni. May I give a special prayer request on behalf of my of Pastor Emily Ingaot. Yes, si Pastor Emily. She will undergo major operation. Removal of her uterus due to bleeding the other day. Let's declare success for her operation. God's provision for their financial needs in the hospital and God uh, blessing and healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, mga partners, uh, yesterday uh, nag-update sa atin si Pastor uh, Emily and today we will continue to pray for her, especially for financial, God's provision, yung pangangailangan nila sa hospital. And we are praying that this, uh, this operation will be successful. And we also declare and uh, praying for uh, favor and wisdom for the medical doctors and nurses who will attend no, uh, sa kanya. And she will be well taken care of sa kanyang kalagayan, O Lord. I pray for more of you, more of your goodness and faithfulness. We continue to manifest sa kanyang buhay. Maraming salamat, Lord, for I can entrust this into your cares, especially si Pastora Emily Ingaot. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Maraming salamat mga partners for praying with us and uh, for us. Ayan. Mayroon din tayong mga uh, prayer requests dito. Pagpatuloy natin ito, ipag-pray mga partners. Every time we remember our partners, we will declare God's blessings for them. Good morning, Pastor, and God bless all. Ayan, si Brother Ramel Antes from Gipu, you know, dito sa Japan. Maraming salamat, Brother Ramel Antes. Kumusta at regards dyan sa inyong lahat. Uh, praying that our family camp will be successful no? ngayon May 3 to 5 kita kita ulit tayo for our family camp God bless you Brother Ramel Antes at regards dyan sa inyo lahat. thank you Sister Eliza Espinoso for praying with us uh, dito sa ating mga concern well mga partners time check muna tayo it's 7.26 na dito sa Japan and minus one hour, 6.26 na dyan sa Pilipinas. Ingat-ingat kayo dyan, mga partners. Drink more water, sabi nila. Ang taas ng heat ngayon sa panahon dyan. Maraming salamat, mga partners. Nandyan kayo and we can declare God's blessings upon blessings para sa bawat isa. Thank you mga partners for sharing itong programa natin. And uh, may mga kasama tayong online pa hanggang ngayon mga partners. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. At may mga dumadaan din nag-iiwan ng reaction. Ayan mga partners uh, Mamayang konti We will read our Daily Bible reading passage We are now on uh, Psalm 147 Mga partners Malapit na tayo matapos nito And uh, we had gone Through with uh, This uh, Psalm no? 
God willing, this week, matatapos na natin ito. Psalm 147 This psalm has uh, 20 verses. And then we will trust the Lord that He will reveal Himself to us with truths, principles, lessons na we can be inspired at pwede magiging uh, principles to guide us as He reveals Himself to us as we meditate also. Let us uh, Psalm 147. And uh, reflect muna tayo dito mga partners sa ating uh, mga Bible verses na ginawa natin for us to be reminded always. Come to me all who labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light call unto me and I will answer you and tell you great and mighty things which thou knowest not but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you therefore I tell you whatever you ask for in prayer believe that you have received it and it will be yours in the same way the Spirit help us in our weaknesses we do not know what we ought to pray for but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Ayan mga partners, Psalm 147, ipagpatuloy na natin ito. Let's read beginning verse 1. Praise the Lord! How good it is to sing praises to our God. How pleasant and fitting to praise Him. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the exiles of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He determines the number of the stars and calls them each by name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding has no limit. The Lord sustains the humble but casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with grateful praise. Make music to our God on the harp. He covers the sky with clouds. He supplies the earth with rain and makes grass grow on the hills. He provides food for the cattle and for the young ravens when they call. His pleasure is not in the strength of the horse, nor his delight in the legs of the warrior. The Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. Extol the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise your God, Zion. He strengthens the bars of your gates and blesses your people within you. He grants peace to your borders and satisfies you with the finest of wit. He sends his command to the earth. His word runs swiftly. He spreads the snow like wool and scatters the frost like ashes. He hurls down his hail like pebbles. 
Who can stand it? His icy blast. He sends his word and melts them. He stirs up his breezes and the waters flow. He has revealed his word to Jacob. His laws and decrees to Israel. He has done this for no other nation. They do not know his laws. Praise the Lord. Psalm 147. Ayan mga partners, maraming salamat na dyan kayo at nakikinig. We will meditate. Hahanapin natin yung mga pwede natin pag-usapan ngayon. Ito mga partners, uh, Ang sa tingin ko mga partners ha, This Psalm 147 as usual uh, This encourages God's people to praise the Lord no? Praise the Lord Because uh, it is good uh, Verse 1 may, may na mention dito no Three things uh, we can say uh, three reasons why we need or we must praise God or pwede natin ito sasabihin uh, manner or ano, uh, ano ba pwede title natin dito uh, ito na lang mga partners uh, pwede natin gawing uh, motivational uh, look at these uh, three motivational things uh, that we could uh, Praise God. That would lead us to praise the Lord. Okay. Uh, so, pwede natin sabihin ang title, Praise the Lord. Uh, tapos, ito yung tatlong bagay na pwedeng magiging uh, ma-inspire sa atin or magiging factors, no? motivating factors to praise God. Ayan. Number one is uh, based dito sa Psalm. No? Based lang dito. Wow. Parang gumagawa tayo ng sermon dito. Ito, number one is uh, praising God is a good thing. Mm-hmm. Giving praises, singing praises to God is a good thing. Ayan, Ayan ang praise. Uh, how good it is to sing praises to our God. So, grabe, no? Singing praises, giving praises to our God, it is a good thing. A real thing. Uh, sabi nila, the, the opposite of good is bad. Actually, uh, in Genesis, the opposite of good is evil. Good and evil. When we say evil, of course, in a simplest term, bad. Hindi siya maganda. So, this thing na kung pansinin natin that it is good to praise God in this simple manner, we are delighting ourselves to the Lord. Nagpapasaya tayo uh, sa ating uh, Panginoon. And this also help, no? this also helps ourselves because we are doing something good uh, in praising the Lord. 
Number two, yung word dito is pleasant. No? Yan. Ibig sabihin niya mga partners, no? Kung, uh, let's say, uh, pleasant. Tingnan daw natin. Yung tawag dito. Synonyms ba yan ng good? Ito yung dictionary. Giving a sense of happy satisfaction or enjoyment. Ayan. Pleasant thing to do is to give praise to our God. Uh, a sense of satisfaction. Praising God will give us a sense of satisfaction. And it becomes enjoyable no? yung kaya pala mga partners no? if you notice uh, tayong mga adult we we have another form of uh, singing songs of praises to our God di ba? Uh, unlike sa generation ngayon uh, yung mga songs may mga fast song yung mga kabataan, they jump, they dance. Yung mga ganun, no? Pero, ako, mga partners, naabutan ko pa yung, ano eh, in my revival time, yung hymnal, when we sing praises, yung hymnal and choruses. So, noon, bihira, bihira nga magtayo eh. Noon, bihira tayo uh, tatayo when we sing hymnal and choruses. So, but this time, no, iba na ang iba na ang gesture as they praising praises to God. So, it gives a sense of satisfaction. Praising God, they they uh, they feel the presence of God with satisfaction they dance no and in a worship song they cry because praising God is a pleasant thing to do Ayan mga partners, <laughs> nag, nag dead air ako kasi may nag good morning sa akin sa messenger, nag type ako. <laughs> but anyway mga partners, no? singing praises to our God is a good thing. Number one, good thing. So this will uh, will make us no? in a position that we are delighting ourselves in the Lord. The second thing is pleasant. When we praise and sing praises to God, it is it is a pleasant thing. It can give satisfaction, uh, happiness, enjoyment. No? Kaya yung mga kabataan ngayon, grabe, they just enjoy singing praises to the Lord dance, cry in the presence of God. It is a pleasant thing to do. And then, mga partners, number three. This word is uh, fitting. No? Fitting. Fitting to praise Him. When we say fitting, uh, 
uh, ibang ano din no ibang ibang klase din ito no um, yung sa dami-daming pwede mong gawin to please God no sa daming-daming na isi- na iisip natin uh, doing things to please God yung praises singing praises to God really uh, fit above all things uh, uh, kumbaga suitable fitted around something now hindi ba kung nagwo-worship tayo uh, sa ating Sunday to Sunday worship marami tayong part na ginagawa during our program no? so above all things when we praise God when we sing praises to God uh, hindi mo ma ano eh, hindi mo ma ialis sa program yun hindi mo ma ialis yung sa program yung praises dahil uh, fit na fit siya in every worship service we always shout praise the Lord every time uh, we are prompted to shout praise the Lord and we always uh, sing with a song of praises so fitting fitting. In other words, uh, hindi natin uh, mag, hindi tayo magiging alanganin to do that. Especially in worship. Especially in, in a gathering of uh, God's people. Singing praises to the Lord. Praising His name is really I mean fitted mafifit talaga siya hindi siya magiging sagabal hindi siya magiging barriers hindi siya magiging ano tawag dito distraction no? may naalala na lang ako mga partners kailan ba nagiging distraction yung praises to the Lord. Ito mga partners, nauso naman noon pa yung dancing, hindi ba mga partners, dancing? Eh, Siyempre, nagda-dance ka dyan sa stage ng church. Uh, there are also things that we need to consider that is fitting or fit and not fit. Okay, lagay natin appropriate. Ayan. Uh, you just imagine, you just imagine mga partners ha, may nagda-dance, group dance, dance dyan uh, tapos. Uh, very simple lang naman, no? Hindi naman siya masyadong disturbance, disturbing hindi naman siguro siya masyadong disturbing yung sumasayaw ng uh, uh, ang tawag dito sleeveless ayan uh, sleeveless and then ano pa uh, yung yung kitang kita yung cleavage tama ba yung term ko cleavage ano pa ah uh, Maraming mga bagay mga partners that would distract uh, the praises, no? the uh, the singing or the dancing. Maraming mga bagay na nag- nagiging uh, ano siya na distract yung hindi naging hindi na nagiging appropriate, di ba mga partners? Though praises and singing fit siya, but sometimes we need also to consider 
yung things that would distract the people to praise God. And of course, in our uh, presentation, even in our words, you know, when we sing praises, songs of praise, tinitingnan din natin yung mga words na mga kanta, di ba? Uh, will is that song really leading people to praise God, or? Instead, they will express that praise ang napansin nila yung maling lyrics, <laughs> yung maling word, mali ang pakatype, and then, uh, hindi mababasa sa monitor yung word, uh, ano pa. So, sometimes we need to consider these things, mga partners. The praises, singing songs of praise to God, fit no fitting siya pero yun nga sometimes uh, yung paglilid natin uh, leading the people to praise God minsan hindi din natin uh, inaayos may naalala ko lang yan mga partners no naalala ko lang yan and uh, hopefully this will be Uh, some kind of uh, a reminder for us. Nevertheless, praising God, sing songs of praises to God, is a good thing. Is a good thing. And number two, it is a pleasant thing. A pleasant thing that could make you happy, feel satisfied, You can enjoy the presence of God. And singing praises to our God uh, really fits you know, in every worship, in every gathering. Kaya yung praises, song of praises to our God, hindi mo talaga pwedeng sasabihin, huwag na yan. Huwag na yan. Hindi talaga pwede. Personally, You are praising God. In a small group, you can praise God. In a small group. In a corporate, in a large group, still praises and adoration nandiyan. Praising God really fit. In all occasion, lalo na the people of God are gathering together. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yun ang challenge, mga partners. How good it is to sing praises to our God. How pleasant and fitting to praise Him. From verse 2 to verse uh, 20, yun ang mga bagay na reasons to praise God. Bakit? The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the exiles of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up their wounds. And with His mighty power, He is the Lord of mighty, great Lord, powerful. His understanding has no limits. He sustains the humble, but cast the wicked to the ground. He covers the sky with clouds. He supplies the earth with rain. He makes grass grow on the hills. He provides food for the cattle and for the young ravens they call. His pleasure is not in the strength of the horse, nor his delight in the legs of the warrior. Ito, the Lord delights in those who fear him who put their hope in His unfailing love. Extol the Lord, Jerusalem. So, yun ang challenge. Praise God. Extol God. Because He has done great things and He can do great and mighty things 
in our individual lives, in our family, in our community, and even in our churches. Anong pwede magiging response natin dito mga partners? Simple lang. Ano? Simple lang, no? Magiging response natin dito mga partners, no? I-challenge lang natin ang ating sarili to praise Him. Sing songs of praise to our God. If we want to be satisfied, if we want to be happy, if we want to be in the presence of God, if we want to feel and experience His goodness and faithfulness, praise God. Praise Him. Sing songs of praise to God. Why? It is the good thing to do. It is a pleasant thing to do. And it is fitting to sing praise to God. Praise the Lord. Let us pray, O oh God. Thank you for reminding us we can be joyful, we can be happy, we can be satisfied, we can feel your presence, we can feel your love. Whenever we sing praises to you, whenever we give you praise, whenever we give thanks to you. So Father, help us that we will always praise you. We will always sing songs of praises to you. We will lift you up. We will shout with joy in praising you. Help us, Lord. And empower us through the enabling power of thy Holy Spirit that in all of our lives, every day, we will keep on praising God, singing songs of praise. Maraming maraming salamat, O Lord. And this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. Well, mga partners, maraming maraming salamat na andyan pa kayo and I hope God has blessed your heart today with the spiritual blessings. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo mga partners na andyan pa kayo hanggang ngayon. And maraming salamat din sa mga nagsishare sa ating programa. Ito yung may pangalan na lumabas. Ito. Uh, pangalan lamang ni Pastor Reni ang lumabas, no? Maraming salamat. But there are others na nag-share sa ating programa sa kanilang Facebook. Well, mga partners, once again, good morning, good morning, and welcome to our program. Uh, sa mga bago lang nakakonek, God bless you, at maraming salamat. Mayroon pa tayo dito morning greetings coming from Ma'am Helen Subido. Blessed morning, Pastor Ging and everyone here. God bless us all. Ayan, si Ma'am Helen Subido, good morning dyan sa inyo. As you, ah, wala palang klase ngayon. Uh, some part of the Philippines ba? Uh-huh, this today is a holiday, no? Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you, Ma'am Helen. And regards to Aliko Nostedes, Tali Pasyanti Bay, God bless you. Regards to Aliko Nostedes. Uh, also, si Sister Eliza Espinosa. Amen. Thank you for the word of God today. God bless you, Sister Eliza. Thank you for 
uh, joining and thank you for learning with us. Praise the Lord. Thank God for all of your lives, mga partners. Maraming maraming salamat. God bless you. Babasahin na natin yung mga names, mga partners na dumaan sa atin at nag-iwan ng reaction. Ah... Uh, Good morning din muna dyan kay Sister Stella Mulong. No? Uh, good morning din sa iyo. And doon sa ating page na morning prayer and praise, may prayer request doon si Sister Han Astakaan. Pa-pray daw siya kasi uh, laging sumasakit ang kanyang uh, tiyan. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for I can entrust into your care si Sister Hannah Astakaan. Sa kanyang condition ngayon with her physical body, lalo na yung uh, tummy part niya. Uh, may uh, chronic pains. No? In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that He will touch this body and through her faith, O oh God, heal her and continue to help her and she will continue to experience your power healing power in the name of Jesus Christ maraming salamat Lord in Jesus name Amen yon ang prayer request mga partners ni Sister Han Astakaan doon sa ating page ng morning prayer and praise eto mga partners yung mga dumaan sa atin at nag-iwan ng reactions. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat and God bless you. With hearts reaction, Ping Judilia, GB Maravilla, Helen Subido, Celia Parenas, Mirna Perez, Pakabak, and Sister Hall Ardison. Also with Pastora Henny and si Sister Stella, Christopher Perez, and George De La Peña. God bless you. Maraming salamat, duman kayo, and perhaps some of you are still connected ngayon. Maraming maraming salamat mga partners, God willing, getting connected again with you tomorrow morning, same time, same page, dito sa ating programa, Morning Prayer and Praise, streaming live, 7 to 8 a.m., dito sa Japan. This program is brought to you by Anjo and Hekinan Ministry. And on behalf of the leadership and members of this um, church and ministry, we want to say thank you for the partnership. Thank you for praying for us and with us. Have a blessed Tuesday, everyone. God bless you. Also, on behalf of my family, together with my wife, Pastora Ethel, and our son, TJ. Maraming salamat. Thank you for praying for us and for praying with us for the partnership na mayroon tayo dito sa programa Morning Prayer and Praise. Maraming maraming salamat mga partners. God bless you. And uh, bago ako bago ako aalis dito sa programa or we'll end this program, my prayer request muna tayo coming from the Division of Mission Ito si our missionary to Mongolia, si uh, Pastor Rich, uh, Rachel and Melody Marat. Lord, we pray that they will continuously teach that you are the holy to their contacts, that you are holy God, that they will continue to teach that you are holy God to their contacts, and may they live holy lives for your glory. And I will be the Lord as I am entrusting into your cares. Ito sila, uh, Pastor Rachel and Melody Ma Maraat, our missionaries sa Mongolia. Maraming salamat in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, well, my partners, ayan. We are about to end. Ang oras po natin ay alas ocho dos. 8-2 na mga partners dito sa Japan and 7 or 2 dyan sa Pilipinas ano ba yung araw ng kagit uh, araw ng kagit uh, uh, sa Pilipinas uh, as far as I know parang holiday ata enjoy your holiday mga partners and keep praising the Lord for it is good pleasant and fitting to praise His name maraming maraming salamat mga partners God willing, getting connected with you again tomorrow morning, same time, same page.
dito sa ating programa Morning Prayer and Praise Para sa ating benediction mga partners Let us pray Lord I thank you for this day once again for we can experience your goodness and faithfulness Thank you Lord for these individuals uh, mga partners dito sa programa ito Thank you for leading them to join with us to praise you to give you thanks and to seek for your will and healing purpose for our lives Maraming salamat O God We will put our trust and confidence in you that today more of you more of your goodness and faithfulness will continue to manifest in our individual lives and in the lives of our family be glorified O Lord and magnified as we continue to trust you for the rest of our lives days and hours marami salamat and now the love of God and the grace that is in Christ Jesus and the communion of the Holy Spirit will be with us all for the glory and honor of our God and Father both now and forevermore Amen and Amen God bless you mga partner ito po ang inyong lingkod si Pastor Gilbert Bakabak Kamakop Missionary dito sa Japan Maraming salamat Bye for now